Hi everyone, for this video, I would like to share with you my two weeks experience mining helium. So two weeks ago, I installed a SenseCup M1 helium miner. And if you have not seen that, I've also created a video on how to set up the SenseCup M1 miner. But basically, two weeks ago, I installed my SenseCup M1 miner in my second floor bedroom. I just placed it at the highest part of the bedroom and used the stock antenna. So if you can see the picture now, it has a cable running up to the ceiling because last week I decided to upgrade the antenna because I'm not getting any performance on the uh, stock setup and my performance have actually increased by 4,500 percent since I installed my miner so if you look over here my last 24 hours I earned 0.12 helium and if you look at my last seven days I earned 0.675 helium and the last 14 days I earned 0.804 helium so basically in the last seven days I only earned less than 0.20 helium so if you look over here I created the chart to monitor the performance of my setup so the first group this is basically the stock setup and you can see that it only witnessed uh, beacon five times uh, during that week and actually there's only two unique beacons that I've been witnessing between uh, during that first week I broadcast three times and one time I got one invalid witness and then the other two I got all valid witnesses so I've also issued four challenges during the first week and then after I upgraded my antenna so you can see that the challenge I issued have gone up by two points but if you can see now the witness beacon I was able to witness 85 beacons for the last seven days after I update my antenna I uh, was also able to broadcast uh, uh, twice as much after I upgraded and when I purchased the antenna I didn't know any better I just purchase the cheapest that I can find in Amazon and that is a 4 dB Bingfu antenna with a 10 foot RG58 coax and that's only $29 and after I purchased it I started learning more about the antenna and basically a lot of helium user if you go to reddit or discord a lot of helium users are discounting antennas that you can purchase from Amazon or eBay because according to them a lot of sellers are dishonest and that their antenna is not tuned properly or sometimes they are inflating their numbers so you know you take the risk when you go with those small resellers if you want a good antenna a lot of users are recommending H antenna Rockland uh, rack wireless antenna and uh, McGill antenna so if you want to invest on a more expensive antenna just to make sure you're getting the right one then feel free to do so uh, but for now I'm sharing you my experience with Bingfu and so far I have increased my witnesses by a lot and uh, I'm not sure maybe if I purchase a rack wireless antenna or, or a McGill antenna I probably get a lot more I would like to share this website with you so after I purchased the antenna I decided to do some more research and found this website Hotspot RF and if you sign up with them they actually give you 10 free simulation credits so you'll be able to play around with your setup different type of antenna so you can decide what antenna will work best for you and if you go back to my spreadsheet you can see right here it's basically showing me that uh, when I have my antenna at 2.6 uh, indoor is gonna I should be able to get a 31 uh, different hotspot outdoor I'll be able to get 53 if I go with a 4 dB I'll get about 57 different hotspot and 119 so it looks to me that my uh, location I'll benefit more for a higher gain antenna compared to uh, the low gain antenna so let me go back here on the helium Explorer if you look at the helium Explorer right now you can see that I'm hitting a lot of hotspot 
but I'm not really getting much uh, reward. So let me show you the transmit scale in my area. So you can see right now that all the hotspot that I've been hitting have a low transmit scale. So, but I was able to hit a couple of good uh, hotspots right here with a high transmit scale. And this is actually Tijuana. This is Mexico. And right here is downtown. So if I get a higher DB antenna, I'm hoping I will be able to penetrate more in this area. Hopefully I could go around here and hit more hotspot with higher transmit scale and that should translate to a better reward as well so I'm hoping with the 8 dB antenna I should be able to get at least 0.3 to 0.5 HNT a day and right now my antenna is set up in the attic if that thing performs well then I'll try to see if I can put it in the roof um, I'm trying to avoid uh, installing in the roof but uh, we'll see if the, there's gonna be a big difference there as well and right here I'm not sure if I'll be able to hit this with the 8 dB antenna that's because the uh, vertical beam width for 8 dB is smaller and I have some hills right here so hopefully by the time it gets here that the beam is wide enough to be able to go past the hills so we'll see I'm receiving the antenna on Monday and I'm gonna do another video on that and another update and if you're interested in that please make sure to click the like and the subscribe button that will help my channel and also will help you get updated when I posted another video till next time and thank you for watching